And welcome to Bishopston on the Gower here in Swansea in South Wales on this very fine and pleasant Monday morning. And today I'll be taking a walk down to Brandy Cove Beach, then following a lovely coast path along the way by guess down to the very picturesque Pulte Bay here on Gower, which should be a fantastic walk. Let's get going. Right then, here we are now at uh, Brandy Cove Beach. Let's have a look around. It's nice to be back down here at uh, Brandy Cove Beach today on the lovely Monday midday afternoon. I think that's not been down here for such a long time on my way down to uh, Pulte Bay today. And I say, well, the reason why that is, I probably to do so to come down here today, and then later on in our lunch break, later on. But uh, very, very, we see the tide out today at Brandy Cove, but it's in all the end. But um, how did Brandy Cove get its name? Well, back in the 18th century, a haul of smugglers used to smuggle in their alcohol and tobacco here at Brandy Cove. That's how I got his name. But over here on the left hand side, there's a mine for Ian Adams. Let's have a look. Right then, here's the mine at uh, Brandy Cove Beach. And this mine is known as an all lead and silver mine. Now back in the days, when the smugglers used to hold all the alcohol and tobacco here, they used to store it in the mine here. Now is that a fact or a fiction? Let me know what you think. Right, I'm going to walk now to Pulte Bay.
absolutely smashing, folks. Well, folks, it's not time for a spot lunch today. What's my man today, Rob? We've got me today four rounds of hand patches in there. We're packing the walk assist there, absolutely smashing there. And that's about doors on the walk from uh, Brandy Cove down to Putty Bay today, which is on the right hand side there. The walk I'm not done for a long, for, for a long, long time now. To probably to do so by a father Tim, Arden, my vicar in Clamvinden Church, who did a online service down at Brandy Cove for his YouTube channel there. So uh, it's great to be here today though, to be fair, on a lovely day today. But however, we've got a nice view and shot down below of this water. Look at this folks. I get back to you now, I have my grub, and then continue with the walk down to Putty Bay. See you a bit now. Well, folks, what a cracking afternoon today on my way down to uh, Posty Bay from Brandy Cove along the coast path today. With lovely blue sky and warm sunshine, just, just what you need for walking, eh? It's absolutely smashing. And I hope to be back on another walk this week around Gower, but I'll certainly come back down here this way again soon. So maybe head out uh, to the Mumble Mumbles this week or somewhere else, Clamadoc. I've got a new camera coming in the post this week. It's the Panasonic HCVX1 to try out this week. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a good one to try out. And uh, when I was at Brandy Cove earlier, I got recognised <laughs> from YouTube. A girl called Rachel, uh, must live locally, she said, um, are you Rob Charles on YouTube? Yes, asked me. <laughs> hello Rob, nice to meet you. <laughs> so Rachel, if you are watching this video, hello for me. <laughs> uh, she does uh, geocaching like I do as well, so uh, that's cool. Right, now we go now to walk down to Putty Bay, see you a bit now.
like they're not far now to go to Puff Deep, eh? Just on the bottom here. Let's uh, keep on going now. There's this lovely, uh, cool breeze in the trees there. Well, folks, we are now at Puffy Bay, and the beach is just over there beyond this, beyond the stones over there, which we'll take a look at uh, in a second or two now. But what a fantastic place this is, folks, absolutely amazing. This, and the sun is out there in this valley, it's absolutely awesome. And it's well worth a visit if you're ever in the area, and you can go on the beach for a swim, or to get some rays in the sun there, or if you're going to come out on a day's walk today, like I've done today from the Brandy Coast side, which we'll do again in the not too distant future. Or the other walk I will do uh, in the next few weeks is from the Southgate side. That's even a nicer walk too, as well, along the coastal path there. But this is Father Tim Largent, my Celtic priest in Flanders in the church, favourite place to visit. And he's down here often with his dog. He brings his flutes and his whistles and, and his dirty do there. He sits by the river there or by the beach there, playing away there. As uh, when he was a young lad, he used to stay in the house at, the, at Pufty Bay here, on the one on the right there, as I'll show you in a second. Two in a moment, the two now. There we are, so I'm going to carry on now look around the Pufty Bay and I'll get back to you in a second now. Right folks, the house on the right over at Pufty Bay there, that's where Father Tim used to stay as a young kid, back in the days. Absolutely cracking. And the street phenomenal. Right, okay, folks, so I've now come to the end of my walking video from Brandy Cove and down to the very picturesque Pulty Bay here at Bishopston on the Gower here in Swansea. And it's been a really enjoyable day today, so it's here today with fantastic weather, great views, and fantastic scenery. It's been absolutely wonderful. Here we are, good. Before I go though, what about this? Just check this out. I've missed the arms. There's always time for one of these.
You have to be done now. Yeah, good. So far on in due course, now we see you back for scoff somewhere, so I don't know when I'm going to end up, let's wait and see. Lovely we shot with the water here at Pufty Bay at Bishopston on the Gower. I hope you enjoyed the video today folks, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Holvo and Tag Nevid. You have two kinds of Diet Coke and jumbo sausage and chips from the photograph you can see Johnny's in the mumbles. Look at that folks. <laughs> so a little quick taste test, see what they like. Absolutely banging.